what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here as you see in the thumbnail we are going to be talking about something pretty exciting that could potentially happen in the opening scene this is what i think is going to be the opening scene for jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers reborn i also potentially have come across who could be playing the main lead girl lane the main actress who should be playing her from what i have found i uh, also discovered the working title for the film and a listing that it had on that production list site that we've seen and we come to get a lot of updates regarding Scream 5 from uh, recently the Chucky TV series and now this film here, Jeepers Creepers 4, Jeepers Creepers Reborn, which again is set to come out later this year. Uh, so jumping right on into things, hopping right on into the production list site that it's hinting at what I think could be the opening scene. And this might excite a lot of you and drop your theories in the in the comment section after this video. But it says here, this is what the synopsis is saying from the production list for a film under a working title going places. During a pleasant Sunday afternoon drive after church service, retired couple Ron and Marie are menaced off the road by an unseen assailant. At a nearby farmhouse, the couple have reason to believe the assailant may be holding someone captive. The couple investigate and find unspeakable horror, and as a consequence, they are never seen again. Now, I already know everyone's going to harp on that farmhouse, because I am too. This farmhouse could be the farmhouse that belongs to the Taggarts. This very well could be that farmhouse. It doesn't mean it is, but the simple fact of the matter that it's not mentioning whose farmhouse it is, of course, just is going to leave us to speculate that this could be Jack Taggart and Jack Taggart Jr. in Billy's farmhouse from the second film. How well they recreate that, I don't know. I don't think we're going to get a near perfect recreation of that. I think it's going to be a completely different looking farmhouse, which is fine at this point. It's been so long since Jeepers Creepers 2, but... What I wanted to say was that we could end up seeing this couple, Ron and Marie, who were driving home from church, kind of like an homage in ways to Trisha and Derry from the first film and their ride home. Uh, we could be seeing them get, of, of course, attacked and stalked by the creeper in his truck. And then what's going to happen is they'll come across him at this farmhouse where he's doing something similar to what Trisha and Derry saw in the opening of the first film. They'll go in and investigate, and this is how we'll learn this is Taggart's barn. I think this is how the film starts. If this is how the film starts, this will excite a lot of fans. This is a perfect way to start the film, a perfect way to let us know we're in 2024, and it's a perfect way to introduce to us the fact that the Creeper did manage to, of course, get off of Taggart's barn wall under that bat out of hell banner that he had above him. Somehow, he has gotten his truck back presumably assuming that he is attacking this married old couple with his truck and he has a, presumably if this is true he's going to have jack taggart senior being held captive somehow in this in this farmhouse and he's turned he's turned it into his new layer essentially because at this at this stage in the game at a farmhouse if he's coming by with bloody sheets people who pass by might think these are just farm animals or animals that he's killed to bring to his farm for whatever reason he could be some type of butcher for whatever reason so i think that'll be his new layer i think that would be a very unique thing to see that he's turned the taggart's barn into his farmhouse or into his lair uh and this old couple stumble on that and then we'll progress from there and that's gonna be how we don't get to see how he got down unfortunately i know people will want to see that it's not that's not really that interesting because again they'd have to tell us we're, we're probably not even going to find out how he got his wings back keep in mind his wings were detached he's probably gonna have wings and we won't know how um, I don't think any of that's important. Just establish that it's 2024. That's what's important to me. And I think that's what's going to happen in the opening. That's just my theory. The other thing I wanted to talk about was regarding the synopsis again, the one that actually came out. It says the film unfolds as the Horror Hound Festival holds its first ever event in Louisiana, where it attracts hundreds of geeks, freaks, and diehard horror fans from far and wide. Among them is fanboy Chase and his girlfriend Lane, who is forced to come along for the ride. But as the event approaches, Lane begins to experience unexplained premonitions, disturbing visions associated with the town's past, and in particular, local legend urban myth, the Creeper. As the festival arrives, the blood-soaked entertainment builds to a frenzy. Lane believes that something unearthly has been summoned and that she is at the center of it. Now, Lane is the act, is the character that I've talked about at the beginning, and I think I found the actress for her. The actress that appears to be playing Lane is going to be Sydney Craven. Sydney Craven, she's based, I think she's a London-based actor. Also, keep in mind, since notice in the synopsis said far and wide. So when we have people in this in this film, I looked up a lot of people like Imran Adams. 
Sydney Craven as well, they have English accents. So this would establish that they're probably not from this area. And they're, they're coming here specifically for the Horror Hound Festival. This could be drawing in people from all around the world, which I think is amazing that they're bringing the horror pop culture and all of these other things, making references to these other films in this movie. If that's what's going to happen, I can't wait to see that. Here's more proof that indicates that she is the person in this film. She posted this recently earlier this year where she wrapped up filming. Uh, she is being followed by the by the director Timo, uh, and then here's more proof on top of that. Now, again, I said that the work title for Jeepers Creepers Four was Going Places. Here's her talent agency website that I managed to track down. She was listed under the client section, and her credits include Going Places, and she's listed as playing the character of Lane. Now, you see, also it says the director is Timo, so. I don't know what else I need to do to confirm or make it clear that this person seems to be pretty much locked in and she is going to be our lead actress, Lane, who is going to be suffering from these premonitions. Um, this is a, another look at her once again. She's very, very pretty. Just, of course, got to throw that out there. She is very pretty, much like Gina Phillips in the first film. Um, just a pretty actress. We, and hopefully her acting chops are much better than the, than the girl we got in the third film. Uh I have I have high hopes for her. I've seen some of her her work. I've looked her up, seen some things. I think she has potential to be or give us a solid performance in the lead role. And we know she's going to be having these premonitions about the creeper. The whole premonitions thing at this point, I'm fine. I'm fine with it. I'm going to I'm probably going to have to chalk it up to lazy writing at this point. If we don't find out what's going on with these premonitions, I am going to chalk it up to lazy writing. It's just something that exists to give exposition when exposition exposition probably isn't necessary. And it's probably going to end up killing certain aspects of this film the same way it did the second movie. That's just my opinion. I love Jeepers Creepers 2. I love all of them except three. I think I love this one. But when we when you're using that plot device that Giselle had from the first film and it's used differently, whereas she's not Minxie was not established as a psychic. She just has premonitions. Why is she having these premonitions? If we don't find that out about Lane, I'm going to be bothered by that because at this point is going to be something we just have no answer to. They probably don't know themselves, but hopefully the writer, the new writer, Sean, he is going to give us an answer to this because people coming in this area and just having premonitions. It's it's kind of odd. I do think this is still Poho County. I think this is the Taggart barn that we're picking up in. Uh, as you saw, I talked about two character names that we could be featuring earlier with that potential synopsis that came out earlier last year. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. Also, again, down in the comment section, please let me know what your thoughts are on this. How do you think that opening, if that's the opening, do you think that's the opening, and what do you think will happen? With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.